What is poppin' everybody? Welcome back to my channel. A Little bit of a lazy start to the day, but I got my butt up and showered and got ready and I'm feeling really good. Another rainy, cloudy day in New York. What is going on? I don't know, but I got a fresh tan on last night and it feels amazing. I am planning on filming my tanning routine for you guys next week. I wanted to make sure you guys really actually wanted it and I keep seeing you guys ask over and over again, so I'm finally gonna film that for you guys and I feel like this week it came out really good, so I wanted to perfect some of my methods. You know, I um, watch tanning routines and tanning videos from a bunch of different people, like it's my job, so I'm constantly trying new things, trying new products and stuff like that, so I wanted to make sure I had like a solid routine down that I am actually proud of and that I wanna show you guys. And I have some cool tips and tricks that I've actually never seen on other people's videos. So, we got some original content here. I didn't wanna just put out what everybody else is putting out, okay? Anyways, I just threw on some makeup. If you guys wanna see my routine, I have a recent video where where I show my routine, so I just did that today. I actually didn't put on any eyeshadow, I just took my um, highlighter and I put that on the lid of my eyes and I didn't do any matte. I don't know what it looks like. It might look like trash, but that's what I did today. I feel like it gave kind of like a simple glowy kind of look, especially with the fresh tan. It looks nice and glowing. I look like I'm in the middle of summer. I wish it was warm here, but it's not. It's cold. Today is 48 and cloudy, but tomorrow is gonna be, oh, 48 and rainy too. Tuesday, 60 degrees. Get ready for Tuesday's vlog. We're gonna have fun on Tuesday, 60. I am so jealous of the people that have like a pool and nice weather. Nonetheless, I'm grateful to have our beautiful place to sit in while it's cold outside. So anyways, we are still rocking the natural hair. You guys, this is my first time washing it since I took the extensions out. I washed them the day I took the extensions out and that was it. And you guys, I don't know how my hair lasted this long. Usually my hair gets greasy so fast and I have to wash it like every three-ish days I wait because then on the last day I can like put it up, maybe four, if I'm lucky. We took my hair out on April 20th and it is today, April 26th. My hair lasted six full days. I just washed it this morning, None like, Nonetheless, is that the word that I wanted to say? Although I left it up for like three or four days of it and I like half it upped it and like some days I had it down. It lasted that long though. I mean, yesterday was pretty freaking greasy. So I'm stoked about that. It's probably just dry and damaged, but I'll take it if it gets less greasy. I gotta say, I am loving having no extensions. It feels so freeing. Washing my hair feels so good. Brushing it feels amazing. I've really been loving it. It feels really nice and light on me. Like, I just feel like I really needed this break. So I might be rocking the natural hair for a little bit because I've been really enjoying it. Sleeping too is so nice. You don't have to worry about them getting all tangled. Ugh. Just a lot of things are great with natural hair. So speaking of, that's how I wanted to start today's video. Um, this is not recommended, but I'm going to trim my hair myself because I just want to get rid of these kind of like dead ends where there's like not much of my hair and then keep it as like maybe this much. Keep it as like a short where my hair is like thicker rather than like these dead kind of ends. So don't try this at home unless you want to because it's quarantine so who cares really what your hair looks like. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna give it a slight little trim. I looked up on YouTube and I saw a video and a lot of people in the comments said it worked great for them and also Jenna Marbles just did a video kind of doing a similar method. I know she's not a hairstylist, but like it worked on her. So you take your hair into the front, you put it in a pony. My hair is not very long enough for this. Oh, that looks really great, Alyssa. And then you wanna go ahead and just cut. You see how these ends are like super nothingness? So I'll probably cut about right here and that's supposed to give you a shape in the back rather than just a blunt cut which I don't really want nor do I want to try to do that or have Zane try to do that because if it ends up being jagged and not blunt we don't like that look so I'd rather try and make it look a little bit like how it is right now my hair is not a blunt cut I don't know if you can tell but it kind of goes in like a U or a V-ish kind of shape so we're gonna try doing that method, and if it turns out bad, I really don't even care because I wear my hair kind of messy curly or curl it most of the time. The only people that I have to judge me is you guys and my boyfriend, so who really cares what it looks like? Let's just go do it. Let's just stop laughing and do it. Actually, real quick, I wanted to tell you guys, this has been my quarantine go-to, like I figured this out. My makeup comes out so much better when I do it in here instead of the bathroom. I don't know, like the lighting situation. I use these bulbs that we got off Amazon. They're like 25 bucks and you literally can like change the color on your phone. So I can make them a super, super bright white. You can see the difference between our lamp over here is like a regular bulb 
This one is so crisp. It's such good lighting for some reason. And then we also have one up here in the office. Say hi to Bench. <laughs> so with both of these combined, it's just such a nice white light. And I feel like my makeup always comes out amazing. So I'll have those bulbs linked down below. They're in my Amazon shop and literally only 25 bucks. And look at this. So you go on your phone and it's like an app. And say I wanted like a different color. I can just go to the colors and literally change it to like whatever I want on my phone. Isn't that sick? I'm obsessed with it. And then there's literally a category called white. Like you can make it a yellow white. You can make it a blue white. You can make it a bright white. I'm just obsessed with it. So anyways, how to tell you about that. That's definitely a quarantine favorite of mine. Again, this is not a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. So don't come at me. Okay. Okay. I did not watch many videos, so <laughs> we're winging it. I really don't even care that much. So I'm going to wet the ends. I did wash it, but it has dried already. Ends are damp. I'm going to put it in a pony. I really should watch more videos, but like YOLO, you know? I'm doing it for you guys, for your entertainment purposes. I'm sure some of you guys are going, Alyssa stop, Alyssa no, Alyssa don't. <laughs> I look great, this is a look. Here goes nothing, YOLO. It's really not that bad until like right up here. I'm gonna do a little bit and just see how it cuts. Let's go this way. We're gonna do it just a tiny bit. How do I know if it's straight? I like can't tell. did it! I took off the tiniest bit just to make sure that this method works. Now I'm gonna take it out of this thing. I probably should have just used a regular hair scrunchie, not this rubber band. Please don't be all messed up. Ah, see? You can't even tell. How about in the back? I can't even tell. Screw it. Let's just, let's just cut off a little bit more. Just a little bit more, okay? I know you guys are yelling at me in the comments already. I feel it. Actually, it feels pretty okay. We'll do just a tiny bit more. Okay, that looks pretty straight. I did this freaking scrunchie again, even though I said not to. Look how curly my bangs dry by themselves. Isn't that funny? And then the rest of my hair is like frizzy and straight. Wow, look at me go. <laughs> Hire me next to cut your hair. Okay, we might have just did something. I probably could do more, but I'm scared. No, I feel like it's pretty thick down here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't need to do more. I would say combined, I probably just cut off maybe like an inch-ish, maybe like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. That was actually so fun and satisfying to do. I love getting a haircut and like, I always feel so fresh. So this feels really nice actually. I'm excited. Here's all the hair that I cut off. It doesn't look like a lot, but I feel like I just cut a lot off. Some of it went into the sink, but. We're gonna give it a nice gentle brush. Oh my god, I am actually so pleased that I did not just mess up my hair really bad. I talked about this in the video where we took out my extensions, but I saw some of you guys asking about it again on DM. So this hair serum, I freaking love it. It's in my Amazon store under the cosmetics section. Anything like product wise, um, like my tanner or my lotions or my hair products is all in my cosmetics section on my Amazon. This serum is amazing. It smells so freaking good and my hair comes out so nice and sleek and shiny. I have to be careful now because I used to use a lot, but now I barely have hair, so. Oh my god, why am I liking my natural hair? This is weird. Okay, so I just put it on my hands and run this through my hair. It's supposed to be more damp, but it's fine. Oh my god, it smells so good. Guys, I only use things that smell good. I actually tried out a new moisturizer like a few weeks ago and I love it. It's the Kiehl's one that everybody uses, but it just doesn't have a scent. Like, I like things that smell good, so I might go back to my Tula. I just wanted to try that one because it was so, like, not affordable, but it was cheaper than the Tula one. But I just love the smell of the Tula moisturizer, so I might have to go back to that. My hair already feels thicker, but it could be a placebo effect, but from cutting it, I don't know, I just always feel like it feels more healthy, it feels thicker. I'm loving this length on me lately, too. My extensions were a little bit longer than this, but like, ooh, this short, easy length is like for me oh, i can't speak too soon but i'll probably be without extensions for a good amount of time like having this in the summer will be so nice going to the beach and the pool if we get to go to the beach <laughs> luckily um i live with zane's family and they have a pool so we'll be able to go in the pool that will be awesome 
All right, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna run it through really quick with my Revlon blow dryer brush. I also see you guys asking about this. This is in my Amazon store as well. I'm pretty sure this is under cosmetics also. My hair is pretty much dry, but I'm just gonna use it to kind of get rid of this like frizz and um, just finish off drying it because it's a tiny bit damp from when I just wet it. Look how fast my hair dries now. I literally just wet it. Wait, heat protectant. Gotta keep my hair nice and healthy. What is in the heat protectant that like makes it protect you? Isn't that like, weird? What do they do? How do they know? I'm shook. I feel like that haircut just changed everything. My hair looks so nice now. I mean, I it's still thin and I don't have a lot of it, but I just feel like it like looks a little bit thicker. <gasps> Happy, happy, happy. How does the cut look though is the real question. That looks pretty freaking good for doing it myself. Look how nice that serum is. Oh, obsessed. The serum mixed with the Revlon brush is like my gold. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit crazy. I wanna try and do a little bit of straightener curls. I have a curling wand and a curling iron, but I just wanna try this. I feel like it gives it a different vibe, you know? But I do feel like it's a talent to try and do this, so let's try quick. It's not gonna take long to style my hair because I don't have much of it, so. I'm trying to find like if it looks bad. I can't tell. I think it's fine. I think I did good. Every time I cut my hair, it just feels better all the time. I think you take it, wrap it. Wait, no. Take it, wrap it, and then go down. No. <laughs> I should look up how to do this, huh? All right, I got a video up. Let's do this. I did it! Haha. <laughs> Alright, I just gave the straightener curls a go. I feel like it's doing more harm than good. I can just do this with a curling iron, but I need to perfect the method. It did give me some nice, like, loose, cute waves. Like, you could definitely see the difference between the sides, but I just don't think I know how to do it just yet, so I feel like I'm just putting damage on my hair, so I don't know. Should we just finish the other side with the flat iron? Let me just do it with a curl. I'm just gonna do it with a curler. I'll be right back. I am back, and can we just talk about this for a second? Who is she? I'm feeling like a whole brand new bitch. Buzz. <laughs> Literally though, you guys, like, who's, who's hair? Who, somebody put hair on my head last night. I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna talk about this for years, but can we just take a moment? My hair looks good. But this cut, this color, I'm obsessed. My natural color is like all the way down to like here. So we might even let the color go out. Like who knows? We shall see. This might be a new me. But I just went in with my curling iron and I did like straight waves. Like it's, I didn't like curl it. Also my hair is just washed obviously. So it's not going to hold very well. It's very, very like clean and soft. But I like the like straight wavy kind of look. It's very like effortless. So that's what we went for. Kind of like a messy straight. I used this mist. I was watching a tutorial on the straightener one. But that didn't really work out that well. The curling iron was just way easier, so I don't know. Anyways, I use this Nexus comb through finishing mist and it just gives it like volume. It gives it like structure. It's not like a hairspray. It doesn't make your hair like super hard, but it does like stiffen it up a little bit and it's like easy to like tease it up and give yourself volume. So I really, really, really love this spray. I've been using it for a while, but now that my hair is natural and thin, I'm really appreciating this product more. So I'm going to see if they sell this on Amazon and if they do, I'll add it to my store, but it's amazing. You will eat it though. So be careful. <laughs> when you spray it, I'm usually like, eh. I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day. I still don't know how people wear white pants because I already got something on them. Where did it go? Oh, it's all the way down here. Ow! I was sitting cross-legged while I was doing my makeup, so I totally dripped something on there, but it's okay. We're gonna wear them anyway. It's fine. These are basic sweatpants from Boohoo. They're super nice and thick. I am not wearing nude underwear, and you cannot see them at all, so they're really nice quality. So I decided to go with an all-white look today, freshen it up. I got my fresh tan on, so why not? Completely opposite of the last vlog. I was wearing all black, but my t-shirt is a cropped tee from Princess Polly. My earrings are my Jennifer Fisher earrings, and I'm wearing little 
little boohoo ones in my second hole. The jewelry that I'm wearing is on my last vlog. You can go check it out there. And that is that. That's the look for today. Another quarantine day, another pair of sweatpants and a crop top. Are we surprised? <laughs> All right, moving on. For dinner tonight, we are doing yogurt pizza dough that I meal prepped a few videos ago. If you want to see that, you can go check it out. It's in the title. So I just have those defrosting. They've been out for probably like a few hours. And then I have some chicken tenders and I meal prepped a bunch of Alfredo sauce recently. So we're going to do chicken Alfredo pizzas. It's going to be so good. And then if you saw my last video, I made a bunch of crepes and I froze the batter of it. But one of you guys said in the comments and it got a good amount of thumbs ups that we can cook them and then put them in the fridge and then they'll last instead of using the batter and having to defrost it every time. So I'm defrosting it in some warm water right now. It's like halfway defrosted. So I'm just going to let that finish and finish finish and then we're going to prep all of these crepes and then I also want to make some for right now even though it's the afternoon I want those breakfast crepes they were so good I've been craving them so I'm excited now so I'm gonna meal prep all those crepes pumped about that I'm not gonna take you guys through it because I literally just showed it in my last video so if you want to go see that and how I make these you can go to my last video I'm gonna film a TikTok right now I did it last time but I didn't like the way it looked because I didn't like the cheese it just looked so fake and yellow so today I'm gonna use shredded cheese and hopefully it'll look a little more fancy and probably taste a little better honestly I'm gonna use shredded mozz but anyways yeah go to my last video if you want to see that and I'll be back when they're done you I'm so excited get ready for this oh my goodness I started eating and I almost forgot to show you guys that's how freaking good it is. We did not hype this up enough in the last video. You guys need to try making this. If you like like savory and also a little bit sweet, it's so freaking good. Oh my god. So I got my TikTok done. I'm watching Rochelle's video. Oh my god. She just gave birth to her little twins. If you didn't see the video and you don't watch them, I highly recommend. Freaking love them so much. Sweetest people ever. I also started meal prepping the other crepes. So I just have them in between some parchment papers so that they don't all like stick together right now. But I prepped a few of them. I'm going to finish that up when I'm done eating because I want to eat this while it's hot, but we're doing well here. All right, I just finished cooking them up. They fit nicely in a Ziploc bag, so they're all in here and ready to heat up when we want to eat them. I just made myself one with some cinnamon on top, and I'm just going to eat it like that because cooking them, it just makes you want it. It smells like a carnival. It smells so good, so I'm just going to eat that by itself. I also really want to take my nails off, but I just realized that my nail polish remover is non-acetone, so I'm figuring out another way to do this because these babies got to go today. Like, oh, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. I don't even want to put that clip in. So I think I'm going to go on my Instagram story and ask ask you guys if you don't have acetone how do you take them off online it says you can soak them in like literally anything like vinegar mm, this is good tastes like a pancake <laughs> it says vinegar rubbing alcohol hydrogen peroxide like it says a bunch of random things so i don't know what's legit so you guys always come in clutch we'll see all right so one of the main things that you guys suggested was to use floss and pick them off and the thought of that freaks me out Gives me the chills, but I'm gonna try it and see if it works because they are kind of lifting. I don't know if this is gonna work though. Oh, oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, it is working. Look at this. Ooh. Oh my god. It's not going all the way through though. What if I cut them down? This is gonna become a disaster. Oh my god. That just went somewhere else. I read online that you can try soaking it off with the non-acetone remover. It just will take longer. So I'm thinking about possibly trying that. I don't like the feeling of this. I'm cutting my nails down short anyway, so it doesn't matter if it damages them. Oh. Look at my nail. <laughs> what the? It's literally like paper. Paper. Oh, it gives me the chills. Sorry, guys. That probably freaked you out too. I'm just gonna cut it down. Oh my god. First I had tips, then I switched to acrylic powder on top of my nails, and then I did the dip powder once it came out. Well, like, after it came out, but... With that being said, my nails have always had something on them, so they're always super, super weak, so I just keep things on them because I can't keep anything else. But look at that. It needs to be, like, buffed and, like, look nice, but hey, the, f the floss thing kind of worked. I don't know if it'll work for all of them, because what if they all aren't loose, but... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try cutting them down first so that, oh my God, but it's going everywhere though. How do I stop that from happening? 
Oh my god, they're like hard as a rock. Oh my god, I really don't like the feeling of the floss under there for some reason. It like freaks me out. Ow, that almost went in my eye. <laughs> this is the most like, <laughs> the fact that these got so long is so gross. I don't think this is gonna work for all of them. Some of them aren't lifting at the bottom. I could just be patient and order acetone online. But I really want these off my fingers. They keep getting stuck in my hair because some of them are lifting and they look so bad. And I just want to rock my natural nails for a little bit. Oh my God, it's like gives me the chills. I don't like it. Oh, I did it though. I got this one off. If you do that back and forth motion, it's better. I should probably be doing this over the bathroom sink, huh? Did you ever go to a nail salon and they try to use like a credit card on you or a Metro card? <laughs> That's happened to me before and I was like, ow. And you're like, no, it doesn't hurt, I'm fine. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like embarrassed to even show you guys my nails under here. I like have a habit of biting the corners of these when I have my gel on. So it ends up, I almost gave you the middle finger, it ends up that I chew off the edges and now it's just round. Ew. Oh my god, it feels weird to grab things now. I'm so used to... <laughs> Look at this thumb. It's like hanging on by like the littlest bit. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> Almost there, almost there. Oh my God, how am I gonna give birth? <sighs> yes, she's off. Look how long my real nail is. But literally, oh, I can't even do it. It's gonna get, oh my God, I have such chills. It bends. <laughs> no, dude, get it off. Now I have nubs. I go from short nails to long nails all the time anyway. Like I always am changing my mind. Like one day I'm like, cut them all off. And the next time I'm like, we can leave them long. So this isn't like a big switch up for me. What's gonna be a switch up is if my nail polish chips, I got one on Amazon that I'll show you guys when we're done. But if that chips all the time, I don't got patience for that. I like to get my nails done, go a few weeks and then get them done again. I don't like to have to bother with them. And I hate the way chipped nail polish looks. So that's gonna be a change for me. But the short, I don't care. I got four off. I'm almost halfway off here. We're not doing bad. This would be so much easier if I just ordered the right stuff, like acetone or that like that like nail cutter that places have that cuts like hard nails and it like actually cuts it instead of winging it across the room. <laughs> winging it? What is with my wording lately? I'm gonna have to vacuum. Don't be a little bitch, Alyssa. You're not a little bitch. Mommy doesn't like this, Belle. This is the first one that actually kind of hurts. Bella, can you help me get these off? Bella. I can't do it anymore. It's so gross. I did not know that dip gel was this strong until I started getting it. I was like, wait, I thought this was like, the regular gel is like way less strong. This feels like acrylic almost. I need new floss. This one is now destroyed. I'm trying to cut it down to the point that I got the floss under because it's stuck now. So if I cut it down, it'll pop off. So close, look at that. Oh, I got it. Yes. Four down on this hand, one to go. One off on this hand. I don't know why I did that one without finishing this hand first. I got over excited. All right, I'm gonna cut this one down first because I just feel like it's the right thing to do. I gotta be careful. I'm like cutting out. Tells themselves to be careful and hurts themselves right after they say it. Oh my God, these are going everywhere. All right, my camera died, but I got this whole hand off. Proud of myself. I just got up and my feet were so asleep. Ow. I was sitting like on my knees. Okay, we have to do the other hand. This is gonna be more difficult because then I'm doing it with my left hand. I feel like I should have did the harder one first. Let me just tell you guys something. My nail girl is the real MVP because it has been over like a month and a half and these nails have not freaking budged. Not one has cracked, not one has broke. Like, I never break my nails from her. She's insane. You know what I was thinking about? Like the fact that I like am liking my natural hair right now. Like if I'm gonna like my natural nails, how many people are gonna stop going and getting things done? Like I know a lot of people are gonna run back to the hair salons and the nail salons, but what about how many people are gonna stop because they figured out how to do it themselves in a good way? Woo, that was a good one. I feel like I might be one of those people. Probably not nails. I like getting my nails done and not having to worry about them for a long period of time, but I just feel like a lot of people are learning how to do things at home. One last look at how atrocious my nails were. That's just not acceptable. Oh, I'm getting under this one. Oh, wow, why is this hand so much easier than the other one? It's so weird, probably because it's my, my dominant hand. This one's on there really well. All right, I'm gonna cut it down, wish me luck. 
Oh my god, these things are like rock solid. I'm closing my eyes every time I snip, by the way, so I don't go blind. Oh my god, I literally can't pick things up. <laughs> All right, we're not doing too shabby. Literally one more. What's the matter, Belle? What do you want? What do you want? What? Attention? Just say it, would you? All right, that took such a long time, but they are finally done. I just went in with the cuticle trimmer and I tried to like clean up the edges as best as I could. I um, filed them and tried to make them as clean and nice as possible. I washed my hands and now we're ready to paint them. I wanted to let them breathe, but also I'm really, really excited to try this nail polish that I bought. So we're gonna do it tonight anyway. So I've got Zane on uh, dinner duty so that I can finish my nails. So he is just rolling out the pizza dough that we prepped. I will leave the recipe for that down below. It's in a bunch of my videos as well it's on my instagram highlights all my recipes are really easy to find you guys so if it's not on my instagram highlight just let me know and i will find it for you guys but anyways yeah so we're just rolling out that prepped pizza dough and then like i said we have this prepped alfredo sauce i'm thinking this will be enough but if not we have this giant jar and then i'm probably gonna freeze this tonight just because i feel like i don't know we've had it for a few days so i feel like it should be frozen but this is also a really great recipe that is also on my highlights and in my recent recipe video so we're just gonna put that on there and we're just gonna saute up some chicken with salt pepper Italian seasoning and then I'm gonna put some peas on there I wish we had frozen but for now we just have canned and that's literally it just super simple oh and probably a little bit of cheese maybe we'll see I am just putting on this nail treatment they are so weak and so bothered So since my nails are so weak, if I were to try to put regular polish on them, it will literally chip that day or the next day. So I'm attempting this polish in hopes that it will maybe stay on my nails, but I don't have high hopes because my nails are so weak. The dip gel is like literally the only thing that has really worked for me besides my acrylic nails. I've tried like the uh, UV light gel and that doesn't even really last on me. It usually cracks because my nails are weak. So we'll see how this lasts. This is the Essie Gel Couture. It had really good reviews. I got it in the color Dress Is More. It's like a nudish kind of light pinkish it looks a little bit more sand on the website but i think once it goes on my nails it will look just like a regular nude which is what i wanted and then i just bought their top coat in hopes that that will help it stay as well so i suck at painting my nails we're gonna hope for the best like not just like I suck at painting my right hand, like I also suck at painting my left hand. Like I'm just not good at it. I'm not a very good artsy crafty person and I don't have patience. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna put on the polish, the top coat, and I will keep you guys updated on Instagram and stuff and see how this polish actually lasts. I got it on Amazon, so I will have it linked down below. Okay guys, ready? Final reveal. Here's what they look like. For me, this is pretty freaking good. I am proud of myself and so far, this polish feels amazing. It's nice and thick. It dried really, really quick and it feels like a regular gel polish that you would put under the UV light. Like that's what this feels like and it looks like it. So I'm pretty proud of this so far. Hopefully it will last, but for now it looks pretty good. This hand, <laughs> she needs a little work because I'm doing it with my non-dominant hand. I tried to clean up the edges with a toothpick and I stopped because I kept messing up the nails. Like I would slip and like make like a scratch in them. So I stopped, but after like these dry and I wash my hands and stuff, then like the outside mess will go away like on this one. So these will look better, but my other hand is definitely better, but I love the color and I'm obsessed with like the formula of it. It's like super nice and thick. So I have really high hopes for this polish and the top coat was really nice too. So I am impressed. Dinner just finished up in the oven. Look how delicious that looks. Can you guys guess which ones are mine? <laughs> definitely the peas, but Zane put some grilled chicken on there. We got the Alfredo sauce, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Ooh, I'm so excited right now. Also, Zane made us some tropical drinks. I'm gonna show you guys the rest for this drink because I still get questions on it all the time so I want to show you guys like a proper how we make it in probably like the next video so you guys will see that soon but oh my god so 
freaking good. I see you guys tagging me that you guys are trying it. It's so simple and stupid, but it's really freaking good. Also, I had originally bought the syrup that I make this with at TJ Maxx, so I thought that I just couldn't get it right now, but they had it on Amazon, so I found it on Amazon. So now you guys can really make my drink at home. I'm so excited. We ran out of the syrup and I was so sad, so now we finally have it back. This is so good. you guys kitchen is clean oh that was good ones i don't know what happened to my makeup today maybe i didn't put enough setting powder under my eyes but i have so much black under my eyes i used a different concealer maybe that's why i don't know but i look like i'm dead i am it's almost 1 a.m so it's time to head to bed i just washed a mountain of dishes and the nails held up pretty freaking well usually with water that's when my nails will give up on me because they're so weak so if water gets in there at all it'll just start to chip there's one tiny chip in the corner on this nail hello autofocus why are you off there's one tiny chip in the corner here and i just packed up a poshmark order and i chipped this one on like the razor of the tape so not the polish's fault that's basically my fault but so far so good so everything is clean right now it feels amazing because tomorrow we have to do a podcast and i want to wake up early before that so i can get on my bike and get a workout in so i need to head to bed and um i don't have to clean in the morning which feels amazing i love when i do it at night so i got in my nighty and i got my lotion on and i am feeling ready for bed my retainer's in also if you can hear that i need to take my makeup off but that's easy Today's notification shout out goes to Taylor Dobby. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I love you so freaking much. It's probably Dobie. Taylor Doby. I'll say both just to be safe. Thank you so much for being part of, I don't like saying the notification squad. I feel like that's so corny. Thank you so much for having on your notifications. It means the absolute world to me and thank you for supporting me. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, you can go ahead and comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.